This film avoids turning the Kelly Ben dynamic into a conventional love story. How would you characterize their relationship and how does it change? Um, I think the relationship between Kelly and Ben really starts off as a, you know, it's a relationship between two people that are working together and um, there's a kind of practicality to their relationship and whatever how else happens as their, I think, I think they, their love for one another, their platonic love for one, o- one another grows into something else um, as a sort of byproduct of, you know, two people working towards this kind of s- seemingly kind of larger than life goal um, and, uh, and, and, and accomplishing it together. Great. Um, a zoo is a pretty amazing gift. What's the biggest and strangest gift you've ever received? Oh, man, the biggest <laughs> and strangest gift. Let me think about it. Um, gosh, oh, gosh. One time I had a, a I had a, uh, there was, there's another a, a lovely actor who's, I'm, gosh, I'm a huge fan of hers, and, and uh, she, and I had never met her before. I met her one time, and the next day I came home and, there was a box, and it was a it was Marilyn Monroe's um, uh, a Miriam Haskell necklace that she had worn worn, and, and that this actor had, had bought at an auction, and and she had gifted it to me, and it was very extravagant and lovely and thoughtful. Um, it wasn't strange, but it was it was pretty. He, it felt very huge, you know. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Besides having a love of animals, uh, what makes for a great zookeeper? A great zookeeper uh, needs a great pair of boots. I learned that. Uh, and uh, I think a lot of uh, what we would call chutzpah, which is just, uh, you know, she's got a lot of umph. She's, uh, she's, she's, she's up for the task. She's ready to get dirty. She's got a, um, you know, a kind of uh, a zest for what she does, a zest for life, and, um, you know, is up for any, any task, any challenge that might come her way. All right. Um, what does no animals were harmed mean to you? And what do you think it means to the animals? Uh, no animals were harmed, I think, means is, is quite literal, in fact. That's what it means to me. Um, you know, that the animals were, were not put in any danger, that they weren't hurt in any way, that they weren't um, asked to do anything that would make them uh, feel stress or, or discomfort and that they were, you know, content and, and well looked after. And to me, that's, you know, I've, on every film that I've worked with that I've, that I've had um, animals, whether it be We Bought a Zoo, I also did The Horse Whisperer, I've worked with animals on several different films, and, you know, that's always been the, the standard that's maintained on set, of course. So how important is it to you to have a film that you've worked on have the No Animals Were Harmed in credit certification? Well, it's, I mean, you... You, I, I, for myself personally as an animal lover, I mean, that's, uh, it's like a no-brainer. You have to, you know, you can't, I, I don't, I don't want to see anybody suffering on a film set, you know, an animal, an actor, a crew member, whatever, you know, everybody, there's no, there's no reason for that. And, it, and it's, um, you know, we all take care of one another and it's important to take care of, of the animals on set as well. Um, you know, and I think that's, uh, like I said, that's always been what was, um, what was the, you know, that was this, that was always been the standard, the high standard, you know, on, on the films that I've done. Great. Thank you sure. so much. Thank you.